Hello, hello. This is Fakadu from Youth and Education Support Service Ethiopia. From Yes Ethiopia, as you know, most of my videos are done in Amharic, uh, primarily because Yes Ethiopia is focused on serving the young people in Ethiopia uh, with their education, with their career after graduation, and also with overall life skills. But sometimes it's also important to share information in English so that maybe uh, our international audiences might benefit from our uh, social media, especially from YouTube and LinkedIn messaging. So today I would like to discuss about some very, very important and practical question for those of you traveling international, especially in relation to how you book your flight tickets, also transit time, and some unique airport experiences that I have uh, experienced, especially here in the United States and also in Europe. Uh, African countries are kind of better when it comes to size of the, um, you know, airports. For example, Chicago airport or Frankfurt airport is far bigger than, let's say, Bole airport or uh, the Nairobi International Airport. So uh, I just wanted to remind, especially uh, it, students from Ethiopia, those of you going for study abroad, maybe it's your first time to fly out of the country. Maybe it's your first time boarding the airplane, just like me when I first uh, traveled to Europe, to Denmark. That was my first experience. I was not uh, given the chance to travel by airplane before my flight to Denmark. So everything, the easiest thing for people, let's say where to find the restroom on the flight, is a lot of stress for those of us who don't have the experience. You know, everything comes by practice. Uh, where where you, you might see, oh, I would like to pee, but where is, where is the toilet? You see, how do you locate the toilet? How do you open it? And how to use inside the toilet by itself? No one actually train you these things. It's just a life skill that you have to get by doing and by making mistakes and by asking. Thanks to social media, people can also share their experiences like this especially once they make a mistake. So, one tip I would like to advise international travelers, including those of you going for a scholarship, whatever is the reason, just Google and learn from YouTube. Let's say if you are going to fly today to Europe, I would look for how is the experience of people traveling, let's say in Frankfurt, uh, in Addis Ababa. What is the Ethiopian airline inside look like you know what are the tips to minimize your anxiety and your pressure and your stress and make your flight enjoyable first thing for example the international travel transit time once you buy your ticket before you you buy your ticket make sure you have at least three hours a minimum of three hours transit time before you board from one flight to the other. Let's say you come from Addis Ababa, direct to, to Chicago. Then there is a, maybe flight will be delayed for, let's say half an hour, 30 minutes or the like, before taking uh, off from Addis Ababa. It can be delayed. Maybe it's uh, landing in uh, Ireland for refuel. And then always there are some minor, minor, changes in the schedule so be prepared so give yourself time don't stress don't make only one hour or 40 minutes transit time especially international travel there is let's say maybe delayed travel for half an hour and then there is a border control right there is passport checking there is immigration clearance you might be required to you know, explain what's in your bag, right? I remember traveling to, to Europe from Ethiopia. Sometimes they just, you know, in Ethiopia, we, we take a lot of spices with us. You know, our bags are full of spice or a lot of things which people are not used to. So the people in the customs offices might be suspicious of what's in your bag. They might interrogate you. They might slow you down. Or as the immigration office, you know, your name, your fingerprint, and your purpose of travel, all these things should be clear. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't have the documents. Sometimes you might just 
get your flight ticket and then maybe you didn't print your documents your invitation letter your uh, letter from the university and where are you going to stay maybe you don't have an address but the border control people would like to know where are you going why are you going where are you going to stay can you show me a paper a print paper not from your phone not electronic copy but a print copy right so there, there are delays so please give yourself at least at least three hours transit time by doing that by going online and on youtube and then learn about the destination places let's say what what's the situation of chicago airport how big is it how far apart are the gates right trust me chicago airport going from one gate to the other might just need 25 or 30 minutes right some of the gates you travel by train right by metros or by bus or sometimes you need to walk a lot and there is baggage claim right and as soon as you arrive at the airport chicago airport first you get go to the customs office passport control immigration then you go to baggage claim then you need to wait at the baggage maybe your bag is not there sometimes your bag is missing right we think everything would be smooth when you give your bag in addis ababa then you you expect your bag will be in chicago maybe they, they maybe mislabeled the baggage or maybe your baggage went to somewhere in another flight you don't know what's going to happen trust me i have experienced this in a very hard way i've learned it i made a lot of mistakes so i'm just telling you guys so that you minimize the potential stress and headache it was so stressful trust me even after the flying to different countries thanks to god i have been to nine other countries i made a lot of flight but even during my recent travel to us in chicago i made a mistake for example after arriving in chicago i have to collect my baggage but i'm not done with my 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 flight i'm coming to lincoln i'm not going to chicago there was no reason to collect my baggage but then my baggage ended up being i have to collect my baggage from chicago and then board again from chicago to lincoln nebraska the very tricky thing the chicago international airport domestic uh, terminal is just outside it's on the other side of the building so you need to cross so you take that by bus or or if you walk it's a bit far it takes your time might take you one hour or 40 minutes to go from one terminal to the other right and then there is payment that's the most tricky part you have to pay again for your baggage on domestic flights in the united states domestic flights uh, <laughs> airlines are not very big within town flights let's say from chicago to lincoln nebraska is a small airplane so it doesn't have a space for big uh, baggage and back bags so you need to pay right so i think you pay about 40 uh, dollars per bag so if you have three bags you need to have at least 120 extra payment right so mind your schedule don't make a very uh, kind of <laughs> tight schedule don't think one hour is enough i give you a very 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 firm recommendation it's less likely that one hour is enough for a transit for an international transit time at least three hours then have a pocket money be ready for a schedule change maybe flight will be cancelled there is bad weather condition sometimes you have to sleep in the airport 10 or 15 hours i've experienced this when i'm flying from uh, chicago i came i have to wait in chicago for i think 15 hours so i didn't have enough money so i have to sleep where just by the airport and you need to help yourself and be confident but be flexible don't make a very firm tight schedule i i'm very sure you'll start learning google youtube videos you'll get a lot of people's experiences just starting from using bus bathroom going from terminal to terminal making transits and all this kind of border control things thank you